What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I just saw this online, I'm probably like a little bit late of course, you know, like a week late about this stuff. And um, I'm watching Dave Palumbo and John Romano talk about um, the bodybuilder who mocks elderly women at the gym. Now, it's an Australian kid who's like a young kid, and the backstory I think apparently is, he went to the gym, he was training, and there was an older lady there, and I don't know how old she is because you see the picture of her or whatever, and she she's facing away from but she's doing like a weird lap pull down. And this kid decided to just mock her um, publicly on his Instagram, make fun of her. Now, I don't know exactly what was said on it. I didn't see the post itself. I heard that he was, like, banned from the gym. He was locked out on Instagram and stuff, like, all this stuff. And, um, you know, I'm listening to Dave and, um, and John Romano kind of belittle this guy. And I'm seeing people post on Facebook about what an asshole he is and his douchebag and stuff. And I, of course, have a different point of view because that's just fucking who I am. I can literally take the emotion out of this. And I think that the reason why everybody's getting so upset about this is because she's an older woman. If it was another 18-year-old kid and he mocked him, nobody would say a fucking thing about it. Nobody would give a shit. So it's more about, like, respect for your elders than actually bullying someone or making fun of someone. It, that's not really what this is all about. I mean, I keep hearing over and over again, the older lady, the older lady, beginners, you know, like, you know, there's plenty of beginners in the gym. And, like, you know, Dave and John, I think, as I'm listening to them talk, they're speaking from a point of maturity. You know, both these guys are my age or, you know, somewhere around my age. And I feel the same way they do now. You know what I mean? If I saw someone doing something like that, I would try to step in and be like, hey, do you need help? Or whatever the case may be and, you know, try to explain to them. But, you know, me and Dave and John, back when we were fucking 18, 19, or even younger, 17, 18, 19, I highly doubt that any of us would have stepped up to help an old lady do a lap pull down in the gym if we saw it. The difference is back then we didn't have social media. We didn't have camera phone or phone cameras. We didn't have any of that shit. So what we did was we would tell our buddies in the gym, look at this fucking lady. Look at that. Oh my God, she's going to fall. And they would fucking laugh. That's what happened. You know what I mean? Like each one of us would actually have the same reaction that this kid had. And don't say no because you're fucking lying. Okay. If you say, no, I would be the fucking stand up. No, shut the fuck up. You know, all of us were those fucking cocky fucking stuck up fucking holier than thou motherfuckers that thought we were the shit when we were younger in the gym because we had a little bit of muscle all of us i mean i don't give a fuck who you are nobody was mr humble fucking well maybe jay cutler he was mr humble but other than that everybody was a fucking douchebag wearing our fucking bandanas and hip sacks and fucking clown shoes and shit you know so to damn this kid and say like you know oh he's a fucking douchebag he's this yeah he's like 18 19 years old he's a young kid of course he's a douchebag I'd say 99% of fucking kids at that age are fucking douchebags and make stupid fucking decisions. You know, there's actually a very famous, um, very well-known individual in the, the fitness industry who had posted something when he was 18, and it was very brazen and very fucking cocky, and, you know, everybody thought he did it now. And, you know, people blasted him for it, and they were like, how can you say this? You shut your fucking scumbag, you douchebag this, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, fuck, and now he's like 22 or something like that. And he looks back and he's like, dude, I was like 18. I didn't even realize what the fuck I was saying. Like, I, I should have never said that. In a few years' time, this guy has gotten more maturity and realizes the douchebag shit that he said and did when he was 18 is not the right thing to do. You know, now what I don't think is cool is there's an old lady in the gym training and you took a picture of her and put it online. That's It's not bullying because this fucking lady's probably never going to see this in her entire life. She probably doesn't even know how to use the internet because she's like that old. It's like my mom. My mom would probably never see a picture of herself on the internet taken in a gym unless someone showed it to her, you know? So it's not about bullying. It's about like, you know, her privacy. You know, I mean, let's face facts. Although it's it's not really a public, a public place. When you go to a gym, it's technically a private owned business that at any time they could take your membership away. So technically you're paying there to go train in private even though other people are there. And her privacy was kind of taken away and shoved on the internet for everybody to see. Now... The good part is her face was facing away, so a lot of people may not recognize her. Probably nobody would recognize her unless, you know, they were family members or something like that. But her privacy was taken away, and she was slandered all over the internet for not knowing what she was doing. And here's the deal. If she's that old and doesn't know what she's doing, she's trying to make a change in her life. She's trying to stay stronger. She's trying to stay healthier. That should be commended and not fucking, you know, looked down upon. And, you know, let's, let's face facts. Again, if we didn't have these camera phones and shit and... People think it's funny to make fun of other people. Like trolling is a big thing fucking nowadays. You know what I mean? This kid probably says stuff online that is so fucking rude and bad to people that making fun of an old lady for doing a lap pull down is not even a fucking big deal. You know what I mean? I read some of the shit that goes on here. I mean, you know, Dave and John are talking about what a douchebag is. Could you imagine what some of the fucking, I, I, the other things that people say online 
that they still don't find offensive and think there's anything fucking wrong with it. There's a whole fucking generation of kids out there right now doing that. So to say like, oh, this stupid old lady, whatever, like they don't, they just look at it as common fucking conversation. I mean, it's completely different. The respect and the, the attitude nowadays versus what it was, you know, back in the day. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I got to step back and say, he may not be a bad kid. You know, he's got a decent physique, not a great physique, a decent physique. He's cocky as fuck. You know, that was 99% of us that age. And at 40, 41, 45 years old, we don't think the same. And we look at this kid, and it's easy for us to forget where we came from and say, oh, this fucking douchebag kid. Man, if you heard some of the shit that I fucking said and did when I was younger, you'd be like, Jerry, you're a fucking asshole. Me and Erin talk about it all the time. She's like, if I'd known you when you were 25, I would have fucking walked away from you and never talked to you a day in my life. You were such a fucking asshole. And I'm like, I know, I was. You know, but like, I'm aware of it. And someday this kid is going to fucking snap out of this and be aware of it. And um, now, here's the interesting part. He took the picture of this lady and put it on the internet and decided to kind of fuck with her. Now the roles are reversed. RX Muscle's reporting on it. I'm reporting on it. Other people reporting, calling him a fucking douchebag and putting up shit about him that's never going to go away. And he's never going to be able to fucking run and hide from this anymore. He'll forever be known as that fucking douchebag teenager that made fun of the old lady in the gym. So it's like he's going to be paying his fucking price, which, um, you know, it would personally for me, if he came out like in a year or even now was like, wow, I was such a fucking douchebag. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this, you know. And that would be enough for me to be like, oh, you know what, he fucking learned his lesson. You know, you, you got to forgive and forget and move on. Um, but I think that he's going to get a lot more heat over this. You know, his name is out there. He's getting fucking kicked out of the gym that he can never train out again. You know, Instagram shut his account down and stuff. Like, I mean, basically, he's going to pay the fucking price for this. So don't go, don't think that he got away with this scot-free. And um, it's not a big deal. He's going to fucking pay for the price for this a lot worse than fucking he ever could have imagined or, you know, that he ever thought was going to happen. But I guess the take-home message is like, you don't have to uh, step up and help somebody every time you fucking see him. You know what I mean? You know, Dave talks about like, oh, I step up. Look, you know, now at that point of maturity, you step up and you help someone. When I walked into the gym, I couldn't get a fucking person to help me. I had to go to fucking someone and be like, what do I do? People that I, mean, I was fucking like dropping weights on my head and shit. Nobody came up to me. There was bodybuilders all over the fucking gym. Like guys that were fucking advanced, guys that were competing, guys that were pro. And nobody just came up to me and started helping me because I needed it. You know, nobody was doing that in the gym at all. I mean, if I asked, they would fucking help, which they did. You know, I mean, even with steroids, I mean, it wasn't like fucking someone came up to me and said, hey, man, you fucking did. No, you had to fucking like ask people like it never, you know, no people just weren't walking around helping people back then. And they're not just walking around helping people now. Nothing has changed in that aspect of it. Now, bodybuilders help out other bodybuilders. OK, like, yeah, I'm definitely like if uh, one jacked up dude who competes, see another guy jacked, you know, oh, you need a spot like. That was completely different. Everybody stuck together back then with that, but you never saw a newbie be taken under a fucking wing the first day in the gym by a fucking advanced body. Like, come on, that did not happen back then, and it doesn't happen now. The difference is now people are so fucking desensitized that they think that making fun of this old lady is not a big deal. And, you know, like, I mean, I'll be honest with you. If I was 18 and I saw a 90-year-old guy walk in the gym trying to figure out a machine, I'd be like, wow, look at this fucking guy. Holy shit, look how old he is. I, mean, I wouldn't make fun of him for trying, but I'd be like, fuck, I'm surprised that he's in the gym trying to get, you know, trying to make a change, but at least he's in the gym trying to make a change. It's like overweight people. When I see an overweight person in the gym, I don't, first of all, it's very hard for, I don't even really fucking pay attention, but you know, you'll see the people like in between sets and stuff. I don't get on my phone. I don't fucking do shit like that. I look around, I look around, I try to see what people are doing. I try to fucking be part of the culture while I'm in there. And you see people get very fucking like kind of um, self-conscious and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I've walked up to literally a person that was heavy while they did a set and said, look, fuck, you know, while they were training with a trainer, you know, I said, good set, man, keep going, fucking push that shit, push it, you know, and like the trainer laughs and the person laughs, but you make that environment a little bit better for them, but, um, you know, you don't have to make the environment better like that, but you don't have to make it worse either. Buy also training at gmail.com, leave comments down below, but don't fight, www.biosetraining.com is a blog, it's the don't make fun of old people bicep and wear it.